Good morning and welcome to the State Educational Technology Directors Association 2011 Emerging Technologies Forum. I want to thank you all for making me a part of your program today and for the great work you do helping schools across America use technology in the classroom. You know how critical technology is to education. You see it every day. You see the impact it has on students today and you understand the potential it has to do even more to help them prepare for lives and careers in the 21st century economy. This needs to be a national priority. But as you all know, we are facing some serious budget challenges here in Washington, D.C., and programs across the board are being threatened with serious cuts and even elimination. But you should know that education technology is a priority for me. Earlier this month, I co-sponsored the ATTAIN Act, which updates and improves the E2-T2 program and will provide funding for both technology infrastructure as well as professional development for teachers around the effective use of technology. And I'm going to keep fighting to make sure schools across the country have the resources they need to succeed. Because for kids in America today, technology isn't something separate from their day-to-day -day lives. It is their day-to-day -day lives. They use technology to play games, chat with their friends, listen to music. They are constantly connected and are plugged into technology in ways those of us who don't come from that generation could never fully understand. And yet, for many of them, the least connected part of their day is when they go to school. And that has to change. Because technology isn't just about connecting to friends and playing games, it's about their future. Understanding how to use technology effectively will help them get a job and succeed in an increasingly interconnected and technology-driven world. And beyond that, it's also essential to improving the learning experience in our classrooms. Right now, technology and computers are too often just the names of classes where students learn how to type and use spreadsheets. But learning about technology is not enough. We need to use the tools to revolutionize the way we approach teaching and learning. I believe technology can be used to create a unique, customized learning experience for all students in ways no teacher in today's crowded classrooms could ever have time for. Technology enables collaboration inside and outside of the classroom as students learn at any time, any place, and any pace. It provides teachers and principals and policymakers with the data and information they need in order to know what's working and what needs to be improved. And it creates a level of engagement for our students that books and lectures can't match. As we consider how to integrate technology in smart ways, we could all spend a little time exploring what makes games so irresistible and how we could leverage the same principles to make learning math or reading as compelling as playing Angry Birds. I am working hard here in Congress to make sure schools have the resources they need to use technology effectively, but I need your help to make this vision a reality. State education technology directors like you, all of you, are on the front lines of this battle and your efforts are critical towards making sure it's a success. So thank you again for making me a part of your program today and once again for everything you do for your students and schools across the country. I'm proud to be your Learning Technologies partner in the U.S. Senate and I look forward to working with so many of you as we continue fighting for students in schools. Enjoy the rest of the forum today and the sessions at the ST later this week.